We basically telling the youngsters, you're going to be one of us one day. Live. Don't be a three-pock. You know what I'm saying? Everybody yeah. trying to be a three-pock. Yeah. There was only one Tupac. So I'm saying all the youngsters out there, you know, get back to the point to where you learn from the legends. And at the same time, it's accountability for the OGs because some OGs weren't even leading people, youngsters the right way. Let's just keep it 100. Let's not throw it all on the youngsters like that. You know what I mean? It's accountability for everything, but it's a season for us to go ahead and talk about it. So that way, you know, once we gone and our music, you know, 100 years from now, mm -hmm. we'll be able to make a difference and be a cornerstone piece to influence them. And of course, you know, the disrespect is not tolerated. You know what I mean? Because we was raised from the era where we, you know, you would have 100 gangbangers out, you know, in my front yard or something. And, and when Miss Yamini Salim came by and said, take that shit down the street, we say, yes. Yes, Miss Yamini Celine. Yes, ma'am. Now, because of the internet and because of real weirdo shit, it turned up on steroids to where they're mostly projecting disrespect. But the good, the the good thing about us is that OGs oh, is back to back against the wall. It could be a lot of y'all, but we gonna stand tall because you know all sperm cells don't get to the egg. Only one gonna listen. So, you know, if we talking to that one youngster. Out of, out of 10 that ain't going to listen, that's going to make a difference. And it really ain't no disconnect. It's all mental. You know what I mean? But more and more, we embrace our youngsters. We're letting them know that, hey, it's a tribal order to this shit. You know what I mean? We didn't get out of that. Like, we don't dis... When George Clinton come in the room, I don't disrespect him. I might have a difference of opinion, but at the same time, I don't disrespect my elders. And we just got to keep pushing it and pushing it and stay in the rhythm so that way the youngsters can feel comfortable as the OGs feel comfortable by opening up that dialogue with everybody, not pointing fingers. Well, no, 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 no. no it's not about is, that. Is that really a thing still, though, at this point? What? Like, will y'all feel like young rappers is like that? I don't feel all young rappers like that, but the disrespect, you don't disrespect. It's just like you don't disrespect your mother. Sure. You don't disrespect your G's. Now, if a person's not leading by example and only doing a sample, well, that's some hypocritical shit. But, sure. but for those that are out there, OGs that are on the front line, still packing them shows, we basically telling the youngsters, you're going to be one of us one day. Live. Don't be a three-pock. You know what I'm saying? Everybody yeah. trying to be a three-pock. Yeah. There was only one two-pock. Everybody trying to be a three-pock. No, man, if you hum humble yourself, you know, and know that all the rhetoric with the money and the this and that and the lean and this. See, well, generation we come from, it wasn't cool to use drugs. Now it's cool to use drugs. It's different. And they pushing that line and pushing that agenda, especially with corporate structure, because we have been there before where there was meetings and shit to turn reality rap into gangster rap, which white media did that shit. We was calling our shit reality because guess what? It was reality.